Hey guys, it's Billy coming at you with a long overdue eight track update. Um, I have a ton of stuff to show you here, um, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, what we're listening to real quick in the back on the uh, eight track, this is, uh, man, it sounds so awesome. I had, had purchased a, um, a few records from a, uh, a guy in Florida on the Discogs, and I was browsing through his uh, catalog or his store and things that he had for sale. And uh, he had a few eight tracks, and one of them was a uh, a Thin Lizzy jailbreak that was uh, he he had advertised in near mint condition. Um, so I went ahead and and purchased that uh, along with a couple other things, and it showed up, and it was the wrong Thin Lizzy. It wasn't jailbreak. It was uh, fight. It was still a Thin Lizzy eight track, and still in beautiful condition. It sounds great. Uh, anyway, I contacted him, and he was. Uh, uh, super to work with, uh, very apologetic, uh, just mistake. Sent out the wrong one. He offered to send out the uh, uh, the jailbreak and allowed me to keep uh, fighting, which I wasn't familiar with. But uh, man, it's such a great record. It's what's playing in the background now. Um, sounds great. Uh, but let's uh, get to some of the A tracks. So that, that that's one of them. Um, I found a few things here at uh, at Goodwill. Some really cool uh, 25 cent finds. Uh, I was tipped off uh, by some of my friends, uh, uh, a local auction house had an, an, uh, an Elvis collection that had just came in and they were trying to sell the whole thing as a lot. Honestly, a lot of the stuff was junk um, and, and I know that's like blasphemy to say all this stuff is junk, but uh, um, it was, you know, a dollar, two dollar, three dollar, just miscellaneous stuff, you know, that you see in, in thrift stores and things like that, little knickknacks and whatnot. Not, definitely not stuff that I was interested in, except for one box over in the corner. He did have a, 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 some LPs, but they were beat up, beat up no better than what I have already, so there wasn't any sense in even making him an offer on those. Um, but in the corner, he had a, a box of eight tracks sitting there, and there were I'm going I'm not gonna sit here and count them, but let, let's guesstimate there were 20 eight tracks. Um, and uh, yeah, one. I told you I was gonna count them, but I'm sitting here counting them. 19, 19 eight tracks. Some of them were still sealed. Uh, all Elvis. Uh, from various different uh, levels of his career, uh, stages of his career. Uh, I asked him what he was wanting for those and uh, he straight up told me 30 bucks and I'm like, I kind of him hot around a little bit and then, and then I thought about it and you know, a, a dollar and a quarter a piece or whatever. And I'm like, hey, how about 20? He wouldn't do 20 so we met in the middle of 25. So I got uh, 20 Elvis 8 tracks for 25 bucks. So I'm going to jump right into it here. Uh, just real quick, I'll show you what we've got. Uh, a little Elvis for everyone. Some of them there are duplicates of. There's a Canadian tribute, and then you know most of them were, were fairly nice too. I, I uh, got to looking. I didn't have to uh, do a whole lot of work to any of them. This is uh, he walks beside me. There are a lot of uh, a lot of the uh, inspirational religious ones in here. This is uh, probably a part of a twin set, but there's only the one one tape here. Uh, but lots of great songs on here. This one uh, just says Elvis twin set. But there's the track list on there. You know all the all the big hits there, from early to all the way up to the end. But that one's got. Uh, Twenty-three songs on there. Uh, this may actually be the the twin to that one. This is uh, uh, just a Pickwick, just just called Elvis. So this could be the part two, uh, Double Dynamite here. Here is uh, Elvis in Hollywood. Man, this Thin Lizzy sounds great. Here is. Uh, You'll never walk alone, which I think there were two copies of this one. I like the nice brown uh, brown case on that one, the brown cartridge. Um, this is uh, Elvis Today. Very, very clean. Like I said, I apologize for flying through these. This is a double. Uh, this is uh, 
You'll Never Walk Alone, which I had already shown, but it's, it's a different because it has the uh, uh, Christmas album on there as well. These were kind of uh, cool. I have two different copies of this one, uh, his hand and mine. And then there, there's a uh, sealed his hand and mine, which a lot of these I couldn't find on um, on Discogs or anywhere else, even for reference. You know, you can see the difference in the covers. So, I mean, some of my guys that are bigger, uh, more. Um, more involved in their in their Elvis uh, eight track knowledge than, than me. Maybe they, they can help me out a little bit. Here's another nice, beautiful sealed copy of uh, I got lucky, and I did get lucky getting this. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous copy. I know Liam's gonna love this. George is gonna love it. There's a uh, uh, Aloha uh, from, from Hawaii via satellite. Legendary performer. I love this. Absolutely love this record when I was a kid. Still do. Again, a beautiful, beautiful eight track. Blue Hawaii. Sealed copy of Blue Hawaii. The thing is a little, a little torn, but so I have a sealed copy and a, and a regular one there of Blue Hawaii. And then a also a sealed copy of uh, Live from Madison Square Garden. Absolutely love this. This was one of my first uh, Elvis records as a kid. Love that. So that's the uh, Elvis find that I had. Not bad for 25 bucks, huh? Um, so I, I can't wait to uh, get them in. I, I've listened to a couple of them and they sound sound phenomenal. Not, not as good as this Thin Lizzy. This Thin Lizzy sounds kick ass. Then um, I think I may have showed, I, I know I showed these, but it was kind of real quick and I'll, I'll, since I'm doing an eight track update, I may as well go through these. Um, Brother Steve, uh, Harmless Rebel, had sent these over in a VCLT package. Kiss Alive 2. Much appreciated, Steve. Awesome. There's a uh, beautiful, beautiful copy of Deep Purple's Machine Head. What a great album. Um, let's see there. Awesome. And then a Willie Nelson. Uh, face of a fighter with a uh, it, we, we had kind of uh, talked about it it could be a, a bootleg you know a lot of a lot of these eight tracks they were they were bootlegging these back in the day so this could be a bootleg we're just not sure um, because I, I can't find any information on it um, so thank you for that Steve then the rest of this stuff real quick let me show you these uh, brother Jared had sent these over uh, in a VCLT package which I'm Super stoked about that. Uh, Creedence Clearwater Live. Little Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. I love rock and roll. Van Halen, Diver Down. Like I said, guys, all this stuff, these are much appreciated, man. Rush, Moving Pictures. Some Dark Side of the Moon. Pink Floyd. Wild Eyed Southern Boys. 38 Special, killer, killer stuff. Six pieces of eight. The game by Queen. Mob rules. Sabbath. ACDC. If you want blood, live, awesome stuff. And Boogie Motel. Scott Waters said this is uh, this is great. Fog hat. Boogie Motel. Gonna, can't wait to clean that up, pop that cartridge, get everything replaced. So I can give that a listen. Yeah, I want to get those old, uh, those old pads and uh, and splices fixed. Um, the two more things here uh, I had purchased uh, online on one of my Facebook um, Facebook sites that so that ha uh, has auctions. Uh, somebody had actually listed these, and um, I went ahead and, and popped for these. Ace Frehley solo album. Killer, my I think it's everybody's favorite solo album. Uh, pretty sure about that. So gorgeous copy. Spaceman Ace. Uh, while I was at it, he had a couple other things that I went ahead and picked up. 
uh, nice uh, classic cassettes, Dress to Kill and uh, Ace of Solo. So they're nice and clean. Beautiful copies here. Um, this is gonna be like this is like the fastest I've ever gone through anything. Then the last ones here, I went through uh, went to Goodwill the other day, and they had just put out a stack of stuff, and they never have hardly any really good eight tracks. They have a, just the same old junk, six or eight eight tracks every time I go in there, and there were probably uh, fifteen or twenty eight tracks. Uh, so I picked them up at a quarter a piece. A couple Pat Benatars, uh, get nervous. So there's get nervous and crimes of fashion. Couple Eddie Money's, one of my favorite Eddie Money's here. No control with uh, Shaken and uh, Think I'm in Love. I absolutely love Think I'm in Love. And then uh, just uh, self self titled Eddie Money. Uh, two tickets to Paradise. Good stuff. Um, Journey, Departure. Billy Joel, Glass Houses. Phenomenal record, nice, nice and clean copy, especially for 25 cents at Goodwill. Uh, let's see, yeah. the babies, uh, John Waite. You know, this was his first uh, venture, I believe. Um, I'm not a hundred percent. I haven't listened to it in a long time, but you know, had to uh, had to pop for that for 25 cents. Can't wait to hear it. Uh, a couple others here, uh, just kind of generic uh, Ronnie Millsap, nothing uh, nothing to write home about. Same thing with this one, Charlie Pride, but I had to pick him up being a, a classic country music fan. Uh, there, but there's no hits of any, no songs of any significance on there. Um, who's to say there won't be something good though. And then this one, this was weird. Very, very uh, different uh, and out there, kind of like uh, the, the Willie Nelson that Steve sent me. Okay, first of all, killer, uh, packaging here the Thunderbird with with the colorful you know pink and yellow it really catches your eye and then you got dude on the front just kind of kicking ass so it says right on rock Thunderbird so I'm thinking this could be one of those boots we were talking about but what caught my eye was brothers and sisters and then you look on the back and sure enough look at the uh, if we can get it to focus Look at those titles there. So, Ramblin' Man, Come and Go Blues, Jessica, Jelly Jelly, Wasted Words, Southbound, Pony Boy, Almond Brothers. So, I am going to pop that in and see. I just picked this up the other day. Um, can't wait. Uh, and then while I was there, they did have a couple CDs that I popped for for 50 cents a piece. I know I don't show many CDs, but Reservoir Dogs soundtrack, I do want to get this on, on vinyl. I just have never never popped for it. Uh, so 50 cents, happy to pick that up. And then this one here, uh, me and Brandon were just talking about this. Mr. Hall of Fame, we were just talking about uh, Millie Vanilli the other day. And wouldn't, you know it, lo and behold, 50 cents in the uh, uh, discount bin at Goodwill. Good stuff. Well, guys, that does it for my 8-track update. I thank you guys for tuning in. Um, it'll probably be a while before I have another one because you just don't stumble across these that often. At least I don't. We're getting ready to come into the uh, garage sale uh, season, so maybe I'll end up uh, finding some things. So, All right, guys, take care. Peace.